Okay, so this is just a quick video for BitViper and a couple of others who wanted to see me doing this. Uh, over the course of the last few months I've been collecting the components for a RetroPie build. Uh, as you can see, we've got the SD card here, we've got the Raspberry Pi 5 inch screen here, uh, a iPega games controller here, Bluetooth wireless doodad. Um, this is the case. This is the Raspberry Pi itself and this is a battery bank that Electric Eye gave me when I visited him in Sweden. So I'm just going to unbox all this stuff and hopefully we can just put it all together. I've already put the um, operating system I guess on the SD card. Um, go to RetroPie website to see all those instructions. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm just going to get on with this, open everything up, show you what's in there and then put it all together. Okay, so my original plan was to put the Raspberry Pi in the case and all these, I'll put a link to all the components down in the description. It will be on Amazon.co.uk but you could probably find equivalents elsewhere. Um, right, so my original thinking was put the Pi in the case and then clip the screen onto the front of the case and then put the HDMI connectors in. Unfortunately, I think I'm only going to be able to use the bottom half of the case because if I want to put these screws in, um, which give the screen a bit more stability, then I'm going to have to forego this top plate here. Um, which, I mean, it's not a huge deal. It does act as like the heat sink. Uh, I don't know if you can see, let's see on the camera, there you go. So there's a block here that you can use as a heatsink. I might be able to work something out with it later, but for now I just want to get it working, uh, test it, and then we can worry about cases and what have you in the future. So yeah, let's get on with putting the pie in there, and uh, then attaching the screen I guess. You know you're having fun when there's loads of mess around, right, okay, so I've managed to attach the screen to the pie to the case and I've used these massive oh sugar did you see any of that right so screen pie case or at least the back end of the case so it's a bit more protected and um, what I've done is I put two of the sort of pillar screws I don't know what you call them in opposing corners and then to get the case on I did the same opposing corners uh, unfortunately I haven't got the hardware to put it all together properly but um, that's good enough for a prototype I think. Now the next thing I've got to do is I've got to put this HDMI uh, U connector in the top there like that. And it just slides in. There you go, sweet, so that's in there now. And I'm not too sure about my next step. I'm sure I've probably got to plug a keyboard into it. Um, power supply would be good too. If we plug it into the power supply though, I'm not going to, without the keyboard, I'm not going to be able to turn it off again. So let's, let's plug a keyboard in. Also, I'm building all this on a whiteboard, and you might think, oh! Why? Whiteboards are magnetic. It turns out this whiteboard isn't magnetic, so we're okay. We're safe for the time being. So I'm going to plug the power in, or plug the USB keyboard in. Cool. Cool, oh, they're pretty tight. And I am going to take the USB power supply, provided kindly by EG. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to plug it into the top of the Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter which one, I think they power each other through the I.O. ports. So is it going to do anything is the question. And right now the answer to that question is no. There is an OS... Oh, hang on, let me uh, turn this on. <laughs> there you go. No? Okay, power supply doesn't like it, so let me get a, um, let me just get a USB plug from the wall. Hmm, still nothing. Curious. Do I need to, is there an on button I need to press? The light's on, and it's flashing, but the screen hasn't come on. So have I done something wrong with the screen? 
We can turn the backlight on. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool, look at that. And the screen, I was under the impression, I don't know if you can see that, but I was under the impression that the screen needed drivers installed before it used all of it. But it seems as though it's working perfectly. Oh, excellent. Well, I'm going to fiddle with this for a bit and try and... Uh, what's this? Terminate called after throwing an instance of boost, file system, file system error. Da -da 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 -da. No space left on device. Wi-Fi is disabled because the country is not set. Okay, I'm going to have a fiddle around with this and get back to you once I've got it all working. Okay, so... I turned it off and on again and it started working. So I'm now going to install the gamepad, which is this uh, device over here. I'm going to install this. I might be able to plug it in directly via USB, but I will follow the instructions. Ooh. And again, this is just uh, for the prototype. Let me see if I can get this in shot. Hang on. Ooh. No. There we go. So this is just for the prototype and it's configured pretty similar to an Xbox 360 controller so you've got the uh, analog stick up here, D-pad down here, uh, I call this the camera stick over here uh, and then you've got your usual buttons, home button, um, there's charging lights up here, um, you've got some other bits and pieces down here and it expands which I think is pretty cool. The original idea was to slide this in here um, but obviously the high and the case is like this big and the screen is like this big so they don't quite match up properly so I might just play this separately or I might use this separately from that but we'll see um, but so far so good so I'm going to configure the controller and uh, get back to you okay so this is pretty cool it's real easy to set up so as you can see I'm already halfway through pretty much so start select A B X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, I don't know, if, there you go, uh, right thumb, click that in, yeah, cool, left analog up, left analog down, left, right, right analog up, down, left, right, hotkey enable, I'm going to put it down here on the home key, oh, I'm putting it up here on the home key, okay. I'll just press start. Oh no, it's got it. Yeah, man. So, the next thing I've got to do is put this on the home network using the uh, network connector on the side. Find it on my computer network by typing forward slash forward slash retro pi, I think. Uh, or possibly raspberry pi, I'm not too sure. Uh, and then I will be able to transfer some ROMs over to it and play some games, which is pretty exciting. Um, the, one of the reasons I've done this is because obviously I travel a lot uh, and it's easier to just play a portable thing than it is to drag your laptop around everywhere. So that's one reason. The other reason is my computer, well, my laptop no longer plays Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, as well as it did. So, um, having this will allow me to play something like Three Knuckles and get my fix for the year, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, let me stick a game on here. I'm going to see how easy this is. We'll stick a game on here and then I shall play said game. Um, yeah, we'll see how it handles. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about power supplies for the time being. There is one on Amazon I'm looking at that's 12,000 milliamp hours which is probably excessive for a device like this but it's really small uh, but considering that this other power supply that I've got or power bank isn't powering this thing I might need to look into other solutions so we shall see but for the time being I'm going to get some games on here and we'll see how they run okay moment of truth I haven't tested this yet oh shit okay there we go uh, right as you can see, Mega Drive is there. Can I zoom in a bit more? Come on, camera, you can do it. Oh, the focus is a bit wonky. This isn't my camera, I'm using someone else's camera. Uh, and I'm not used to it. And it requires manual focusing, which is a nightmare. Okay, right, let's see Mega Drive. I haven't scraped anything yet, so there's not gonna be any artwork or anything like that, but this should be Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Okay. 
Press a button to configure. I don't want to configure. Oh! It actually works. Why have we got a black board around the screen? Also, I guess there's no sound because there's no speaker plugged in, which is fine. Uh, okay, one player. That's me. Let's press start. Obviously, we're going to play as Knuckles, obviously. Right. Okay, so the D-pad isn't doing anything. Oh, the uh, left analog stick's not doing anything. So let's just do this with D-pad. And the colours on this screen are actually great. I really like this. I went with the 5-inch screen because I think the 3.5 would have been too small and the 7 would have probably been a bit too big. I would like to get rid of this uh, thing around the edge here. See how good ring rooms are. So that might just be a configuration thing. Ooh, okay. D-pad is a little bit laggy. Uh, if you want to see someone do a good job of this, go back and watch the first gaming video on my channel. Yeah, the D-pad's a bit laggy. I think I'd prefer the analog stick. That weren't too bad. Yeah, this is great. And it's running way smoother than it was on my computer, which is brilliant. On my computer, I had to turn frame skip on and all sorts of stuff, and it just didn't look very good. But this looks great. So yeah, well pleased with this. I hope you've enjoyed these videos, or this video, rather. And if I can pull this off, uh, I think pretty much anyone can, to be honest with you. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get to the end of this. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, it's gonna be my first Chaos Emerald on the Raspberry Pi if I can pull this off. Oh, and a perfect. See if I can do it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, first Chaos Emerald on the Raspberry Pi. Well, I'm well pleased with that. Very happy indeed. Um, I had to use some bits from my old 3D printer project that nothing ever came from and some other bits and pieces from all over just to put this thing together. Uh, I think it's great. I really enjoy it. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to keep playing and let you know how I get on in a future video possibly. So let's pause this. Now, how do I... Is there a way to... I think I've just paused it there. Is there a way to configure some stuff? Let's press start and home at the same time, there you go. Right, so can we configure it? Oh, we can. So it might it might just be a case of installing drivers or something like that. Um, I'm probably going to have a big old poke around through all these options at some point and uh, yeah, really fine tune this, but for now, really happy with how that's turned out and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.